Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to work on this cello, which has a small problem, which is this crack and hole in the ribs. I don't know what exactly happened, but this is a kind of damage that you see pretty often on cellos as they are big, people walk with them and very often they bump the sides uh, on a table or a chair or something like that because it is the height that is a low table would be. With this as a result, I have also another video of a repair of a cello that had a very big crack at the other side. You can see it here. Today we have also a hole, a small part is missing, but fortunately it fell inside the cello so I could recover it and I still have it here. I think that I am going to open a part of the top I would like to pass the block so it uh, will be a bit more flexible and easier to make some space so I can reach the inside. I have to see if I will manage to open it. I hope so. I will remove the parts and start opening the top. Apparently I was lucky and the top went pretty easily off. I think that the very dry weather of the past weeks helped me here. Anyway, I decided to remove the top completely as you see, because in this way I can access this part much easier. It will be easier to put the reinforcements at the inner side and to make everything flat. It is a little bit more work to glue the extra part, but it makes working on this part easier. So. I will do it like that. I think that I will try gluing the two parts in once because I'm afraid that if I glue first the first part on place then I don't have enough space and flexibility to put the small part between them. To glue everything I will use white glue as this is a permanent fix that don't need to be opened anymore. Now I have to wait a couple of hours until the glue is dry. Now that the glue is dry I can remove the clamps. And now before I put the top back on place I want to put another piece of reinforcement here over the small piece that was separate. As you see for these repairs I also used that airplane plywood that is used to make model airplanes. It is very strong, very thin and it bends very well so it's easy to fit on the curved surface. The last part is also dry, so I can remove this clamp as well and put it away. 
and now I will glue the top back on place. And once again, this has to dry. For the last time the glue is dry, so I can remove all the clumps. And then I will go to the final stage, clean the instrument, color a bit the crack and mount it. And so the cello is in one piece again and the hole is closed. That means that this repair has finished, but stay in tune or don't forget to subscribe to the channel because in the upcoming video I will be working on this instrument which has some terrible cracks, you can see them already. The fingerboard is also broken, but this is also an instrument that should be made in the baroque way but it is not made correctly so i'm going to work on that also i'm going to make it modern again anyway a lot to do on this instrument subscribe so you won't miss it that's it for today thank you very much for watching many thanks to the patreons for supporting the channel don't hesitate to visit my patreon page if you also would like to support the channel don't forget to visit my etsy shop for the clocks and i will see you next time again bye bye